Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And if you if you love the uh, Sekita Ludus that we did in the two videos ago, you'll you may love this. This is a new line Saigo Defense. This is something coming from the same people that do the Sekita products. They've asked me to do this new AEG, and we'll see what it's like in the upcoming video. Stay tuned. So yes, this is a new one. They asked if I would look. Uh, we're stuck in these products as well, so the whole range is online. We've got eight different models of this rifle that you see here. Uh, they, they asked if I want to take a look at this. I said, yes, of course, I will take a look. So this is the new Cyber Defense line. This one is the Ronin, which is like the more PDW style uh, model compared to the others. They do longer ones as well. Very nice box here, as you can see. Lovely uh, logos and bits on there. They obviously get that from doing well with the circuitor line. This is obviously a little bit different. Opening up the box here, I might cover my face a little bit. But uh, let's just pop this down so I can't see. We've got a uh, manual in there, which is very, very little, you know, but all the bits and pieces that you need. Uh, we've got a mid cap magazine, which is a PMAG style, which is very, very nice for such a budget line rifle. We've got the Ronin itself. And we've got a little battery they've sent me here just to try the rifle with. Put this box to one side. Let's have a look at the Ronin itself. So, this is of course an AEG, it's an M4 style platform, a new IP from the guys that do that distribute the Sekita line of products, um, which is a company in Spain. This new cyber defense line, they've got a very cool looking new way of doing things. I think it's the same guys that bring that uh, distribute the dual code stuff as well because the battery that they sent me to play along with it was a 11.1 uh, 800 milliamp dual code battery so it's a very small dinky battery which will go in the stock so this is an m4 of course it's an aeg i love the fact they've put a uh, mid cap plastic mid cap in there that's a pmag style it feels very very good i presume it's 100 rounds we'll, uh, we'll do our best to find out got a sticker on there that says max one joule now these rifles do have a very, very strong polymer body. It did fool me at first, just because of the way they looked. Um, the body is polymer, but everything else that should be is metal. So polymer grip, of course. Metal M-lock front end with QD points on the front here. Metal barrel, metal flash hider. We do have some, I think, polymer iron sights, but that's nothing uh, here or there. And then we have the stock system itself, which is... Uh, that is alloy, that's metal, this is metal as well, and then this is polymer with metal uh, rods there for the stock. Now having a quick overview on this thing, well, from what I can gather, this is OEM'd by Classic Army. Um, so this isn't something unusual for companies to do, with the distributors that are all out there uh, do this. <laughs> a whole range of distributors do this. Uh, they'll rebrand certain products from manufacturers, they'll go to the manufacturer and say, um, we want this in this spec and this sort of look, which is what uh, Sligo Defense have done. Um, and we want it to be our own product and then that's how they do it. Nothing new, but of course, uh, everybody does it out there. So this is an AG, this is the Ronin. It's a very short PDW style rifle. It's very, very comfy indeed. Um, you, you see all the materials there, like I've said. We've got the Sligo Defense logo on the side and then we've got Sligo Defense on the other side, everything where you expect it to be. You've got the uh, textbook blue hop unit, which is what Classic Army like to put on their rifles. But these are very, very well priced. I think this model, I think this model may be the most expensive one that we've got for some reason. I'm not too sure. That might have to do with like the CNC components on the stock. Um, but I believe it's about 180. Um, that comes from us with a lipo battery and charger out the box. What we're doing with these, this is something that's going to be distributed to all the other retailers. What's uh, in the UK, you know, as usual as, as what would happen from the supplier. With what we've done with ours, as they're coming to us, we're going to supply a lipo battery and a lipo charger 
in the box with these and then you're going to get them at the really nice price that you see on the website still very very good deal um, the stock itself is a quick extending stock so you can just pull it without pressing any any tabs or buttons or anything like that and then you just rotate this off the back here to expose the connector now the Ronin which is the PDW style rifle that they do is the only one out of the line that comes with the Dean's connector out of the box a little bit weird but neither here nor there the rest come with Tamiya so we'll obviously be supplying batteries to suit uh, one another let's just pop this out here this dinky little battery I'm just going to plug it up quickly here so I don't have to do any finger gymnastics to plug it in this is clear nice and responsive there nice and loud as well due to that short barrel very cool indeed what we're going to do we're going to get the top down camera set up we're going to take a closer look at this thing so you can see in further detail I'm going to pop this back on here and then course we're going to get to the FPS and accuracy test so these rifles just before I go uh, to the top down camera very good value for money um, what they come in the box especially when we're supplying a light battery and charger um, in, in the box with it, a mid cap magazine you know they're very uh, well priced they feel great I mean that the M-lock front end everything is still you know it's still metal um, it's just the polymers uh, the bodies that are polymer so Let's get the top down camera set up, we'll get to the FPS and the accuracy test which may surprise you and then we'll get to the new scoring system and see how this thing does. So here it is guys, the Saigo Defence Ronin AG. Let's have a closer look at this thing. So you can see how cool this thing looks. Would you believe you get this with a LiPo charger and a battery for $184.99? I think roughly, don't quote me if I'm wrong, it is around about that price on the website. So you'll see polymer body here. You got the Saigo Defense logo, which is like a samurai, very, very cool indeed. And you got the Saigo Defense at the side there, followed by a little serial number. And you got safe, semi, and auto. Metal trigger here, polymer grip, which is extremely comfy. And you've got a, a distinctive classic army quick detach motor plate, a polymer. Mid cap magazine, which is very PMAG esque in the box included. Very cool feature as well. You'll see that textbook blue hop unit from uh, Classic Army there, which is adjusted by pulling back the charging handle and you operate the wheel down for more hop and up for less hop. Doesn't uh, hold under its own uh, actuation, so you do have to hold that back, but it's very easy to do. You've got this lovely metal, I think it's been uh, uh, machined, CNC machined, M-lock front handguard with QD points at the front and back on both sides. Lots of M-lock real estate there. This cookie cutter style flash hider, which is 14 mil counterclockwise, I believe. Let's just check that. Yeah, it is. So you could very much easily put a trace unit on there or uh, you know a suppressor or something like that or if you want to keep that aggressive cookie cutter style look you know just leave it as it is looks really good really nice finish on that front hand guard as well for such a budget gun obviously the front iron sight there is pop up and you just push it back on moving to the polymer body you can see the difference in finish got a rear iron sight which you can adjust the aperture as well for a smaller style aperture and you can adjust it left to right the front one is adjusted up and down as well lots of real estate there for a, an optic if you want to put a red dot sight on there uh, you've got an extended lever on the charging handle nice and easy to operate the stock itself is again a very nice style so they've done a really good job on this and again it's got that quick pull feature um, and then again it's very easy to operate keep clicking it and then you can press the opposite side down and it pulls straight off and we've got this 
stock tube here, little 800 mAh milliamp battery. Just pop this on here. I'm going to struggle to get this on, I think. <laughs> I'm not going to struggle to do that now. I think it's easier if you actually connect the thing up and push it in. But uh, we will double check this, of course, before we supply the batteries with them and make sure they fit. And that section just pulls off. That's metal as well. Looks a lot like the airy style that they do. Very nicely uh, machined. I'm surprised they've been able to do to push this out at the price for what they include. Again, the, the Ronin's the only one out of the different models. I think there's two Ronin models they do in different colours, and the Ronin's are the only ones to come with Dean's connectors for the batteries. They'll take 7.4, 11.1, absolutely fine. That was just the battery that we uh, that I've had to test it on, which was something that they sent me. Very nice indeed, so I'm very, very surprised with this. Um, I think if they had perhaps put a metal body on here and it was, you know, if, you, if they could have put a metal body on this and kept it sub 200, they would just absolutely uh, have cleaned up with this. Um, I think uh, veterans or more experienced airsoft players that have been doing it for a long time, like myself and others, um, this may have a, a sort of appealed more to them if you had a metal body, but uh, it's not it's not a deal breaker at all. It's a very cool looking PW rifle and like I say I'll probably keep saying it in this video <laughs> they do a lot of different models to choose from so they've got long ones short ones mid-length you know you name it they've got it trigger obviously feels good as well so let's get to the uh, the main part let's get this thing chronoed you might be quite surprised at uh, what Parrot's putting out and I think you're going to be superbly surprised in the uh, the accuracy test of this thing at 10 meters, it just absolutely punches them in. Uh, such a such a great uh, grouping. So let's get to the FPS and the accuracy test, and then we'll be back on camera to score this thing. So you'll see there from the uh, chrono test that it's a very, a very punchy 345, you know. It was very consistent for a, a budget gun, you know. This is something that was sort of said to me as they were going after the likes of um, like Eastern Crane and the other budget line AEGs out there. And to be honest, I think they've smashed it. Uh, the only thing I would have been sort of after, if they could have done it, would have been a, a male body. You know, that would have pushed the price, yes, but... For someone like myself that's been doing it for a, for a longer time, you know, the veteran airsofters out there are less likely to buy polymer body guns unless you're looking for something lighter that fits a certain role. Um, I wouldn't let this put me off though uh, after I fired it because it was very, very cool indeed. You'll see from that accuracy test as well that it just like all I was doing is I was, I was, I was standing up right next to the camera. Um, I had no iron sights because I didn't know where it was going to fire. Um, you'll see the first round, I was just gauging where it was going to fire. The first round was here. As soon as I found out where it was firing, I adjusted. And look at that. I don't know how many rounds I fired it, but most of them were going through the same hole. So this, this might not look... This is very, very good, but that hole there is even better where the majority... I'd probably say about 60% of the rounds flew through that same hole that was made. Accuracy out of that for such a budget gun and such a short barrel at 10 metres. Oh, it's just, you ain't going to miss, are you? In a CQB environment, which is this, what this thing is built for, or perhaps a backup to a to a primary sniper rifle or something like that. 
accuracy absolutely smashed it so let's get to this new scoring system and see what uh, see what we think so first impressions out of the box they weren't the best I mean I don't like those cardboard inserts but you know they've got to do it at a certain price I understand that it was nice to see that type of magazine out of the box I didn't expect that so that's a plus um, before we had these in, I, I thought they would be metal bodied. Um, everything sort of suggested that they may be metal bodied, um, especially with the, the, the companies that they were going after. It was a bit of a, I wouldn't say a letdown, but it, it, like I say, that goes back to that veteran airsoft thing. People that have been doing it a long time may not go for something that's polymer bodied. Um, there's not, that doesn't mean anything wrong with it. Um, I think just with the polymer body stuff, usually it's in that mindset where it's catered to a sort of new players, which this would do well for as well. Uh, not a problem at all. So first impressions, I'm going to go with a seven out of ten. Materials and finish. Um, I love the the finish on the front end here. It's very very good indeed. The stock as well, the, and the way they've done it is just absolutely superb for such a for such a budget gun. I just can't believe that they've managed to do it at that price. The only thing I'd mark it down for materials and finishes is upon my body, of course, but again, it's not a massive issue, so I'm probably going to give it a 8 out of 10. In fact, no, I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because of the price that it is and the metal components and such on there, and the, the grip is really comfy. Um, if I didn't mention it before, another um, indication that it's Classic Arm is Classic Arm and everything at the moment is doing this quick detach. Uh, pistol grip feature where you can take the motor out without having to undo any screws or anything like that. I'm not a fan of it, but uh, hey ho. Um, so we'll, we'll put them up to a nine. Disassembly. It doesn't really come into it uh, with ages as, as much as as the um, the pistols uh, with the disassembly. But um, in terms of taking this thing apart, it's very easy. Just undo that Allen key, take that pin out, the top slides off. Um, it's a classic army infrastructure, so it's very very easy to do of course if you're new to this I'm not going to recommend you go start stripping this thing down, but in terms of sort of like a, um, a More experienced player. I'd probably say it's going to be very easy to take apart the stock and everything's easy to take apart So I'm going to give it an 8 uh, Magazine um, I'm gonna give it a good score for that because you're getting a polymer mid cap, which is a PMAG style magazine It's actually really robust and it fed well you know, chucking point threes on there straight off the bat with the point twos on the uh, chrono, it was doing 15 rounds a second, I think 15 16 rounds a second. Um, but the, the construction of this is really surprised again for the price. I just can't understand how they've done it for, for the 180 quid that it is. And the, the other models, the longer ones, are, are even cheaper, which doesn't make sense. So, the magazine, I'm going to give it a eight as well. FPS. Smashed it, 345, exactly where you want it. 10 out of 10 for that. They've absolutely hit the nail on the head and they've just, you know, they've got it right. They've got it right. Um, accuracy, again, absolutely smashed it. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I can't speak for longer ranges. This is literally just based on the information that's supplied to me doing this video for you guys. But accuracy, <laughs> get a red dot sight on there, get it zeroed, and you're just going to have fun all day, uh, you know, hitting tiny, tiny targets. You'd be threading needles through barricades. Um, smashed it again, uh, so accuracy, um, sorry I missed one out here, hop up, sorry, I have missed one out, so 10 for accuracy, 10 for FPS, hop up which was 5, um, again, rotary style hop up from Classic Army, very nice and easy to use, it has an arrow to show where it is more applied, from what I've tested quickly, it has a good response on the hop as well, so for the hop I'm going to give it a 8, missed that one out there. Uh, seven, so eight, feel and feedback. Feels really good. Uh, feedback in terms of AGs isn't isn't great. I mean, the reason you can shoot better with like AGs over gas blowback stuff is because there's, there's literally no resistance or vibration in terms of, of, of holding the rifle steady. Like with a pistol, you've got the vibration of it moving around and such, which affects accuracy. Um, this you don't have it with, so feel and feedback is just gonna literally go onto how this thing feels and the construction. There is no flex in this thing whatsoever. You know, there's no, there's no the only thing that's rattling is is the, uh, the dust cover when I shake it, but it's, it's just solid. It is absolutely solid. The tiniest bit of flex in the stock, but again, it's neither here or there. And I love the fact that you can pull that out and you're ready to go and it's nice and compact. So uh, feel and uh, feedback, 
I've got to bring the price into that as well because of the 180-ish pound that it is. Uh, I'm going to give it a 8 again. Parts and accessories availability. Um, parts and accessories. M4 mags. The loads. You've got M lock up there. Absolutely loads available. Um, battery wise, they've they've supplied. They've got a battery that uh, they do under the dual code brand, dual code brand that will fit this straight away. It is going to be a small type lipo battery in there. Um, you will probably have to get an extension if you want to fit a bigger battery, but you are stuck to smaller type lipo batteries, which isn't a, a massive uh, hindrance. But I suppose it does get marked down a point for that. So for parts and availability, the fact that it's an M4 infrastructure. Everything works, everything's available, M locks available, M4 mags, batteries are available. You know, why not? 9 out of 10. Uh, in terms of price, 180. I think it's 180, we're doing them for 184, 184.99, I think, with a LiPo battery charger. I just think it's an absolute no brainer for new players and veteran players alike. I think this is just, if you love the look of this and you want something a little bit different, you don't want to break, you don't want to spend a load, but you want a new, a new gap maybe, and you, you want to have some fun, you want to add to the collection, it's going to be absolutely superb. And for what you get in the box, smash the price. I think, again, uh, it was a 9 or a 10. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to give it a 9. Again, absolutely smashed it with the price. You know, flip a pine sights in. I mean, a lot of the premium, premium guns that you buy nowadays, some of them don't even come with iron sights, you know. Um, they've got nice flip up star line sides, the rails there to put your attachments on, they've got like a little extended lever here on the charging handle, um, nice clicks, I mean, you don't really see this type of detail and quality with guns that cost so little, so I think Saga Defense have absolutely uh, done well with this, this line, I think we're going to do really well with this line on the website, we've got 8 models in total, if you want to see the other models just head onto the website. Or head to the Facebook page where we've put up a picture of each of the models on there for you. Um, let's total up what the score was. Um, and again, with these scores, they will differ because I'm sort of I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this from a point of view of, of like a cheap rifle um, and, and the plus sides to that. Um, you know, for that kind of price, you're not going to expect full CNC uh, bodies and, and trademarks and licenses. It's just not not. Uh, not going to happen. So let's see how this thing is done. So we've got seven, uh, we've got a nine, eight, 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 ten, ten, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eight, nine, nine. We've got a score of 86. So Psycho Defense Ronin, we have a score of 86. A James a POS score of 86 out of 100. I think, you know, if you're a new player, like I said, and you're looking for something to get started with, great product for you. If you're a veteran player and you just love the look of it and you, it fits a, an area in your collection that you want to fill and you love the little features, you're not bothered by the polymer body, it's not the end of the world. Um, these mags, again, are cool as well. They come in the box with it. Um, I have tried a couple of different M4 mags in here. I've tried... Uh, the new Pro N mags. I've tried PTS, the original uh, Magpul, the original Magpul mags work fine. PTS mags work fine. I've tried a couple of high caps that I've got as well, work absolutely fine. So they're uh, they're really doing well with this. So I'm glad that I had the opportunity for them to send me this one ahead of time, just to uh, review for you guys and show you what it is. A little bit different, something new, uh, a new contender on the market for you know the sort of I wouldn't say budget, but you know, the companies have got to up their game now because Simon's sort of getting to that point. I mean, Simon are full polymer guns, don't get me wrong, but they're coming with MOSFETs out of the box now, so that the bar is continually being raised. Uh, but I think they've they've they fit well in the market, and uh, I can't wait to see how well these do on the website and what you guys think. Let us know down in the comments below what you think of this platform. Obviously, but there's seven other different models as well. They do them in tan and black and tan combos, so it's uh, there's lots to choose from. Thanks for tuning to this video. Hope you like the Psycho Defense Ronin AEG here. I've had some good fun with it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.